Hi there. So I just wanted to share a little story about uh, yesterday. So yesterday I was working quite a lot and I was really in a good flow. I was feeling very comfortable with the amount of work I was getting done, good focus and everything. And until that is, um, I went to make my lunch and I put the water in the pot or tried to put some water in the pot and it looked all murky and there was a strange smell and that kind of derailed me because I was like, okay, what am I going to do now? So um, I found a solution for my lunch, but then I was thinking about the wider consequences, you know, like um, of what was happening. And I started to like call water services and I um, thought about what we need to do around the house, where the water needs to be turned off, what we can still use, la di la di la. No, so there was a whole slew of activity going on suddenly for me to solve this problem. And um, it kept me quite busy for a while. Like I did go back to work in between, I did have my lunch in between, I did make the calls that I had scheduled. But in, in between all of these things, this topic kept coming up, water, it's still running dirty, it's still not solved, you know. Um, and water services were taking their time to come. And so, in the end, what I found out when I took a bit more time and um, I thought about it in a more analytical way and thought like, okay, how can I solve this, maybe solve this problem myself or find out more about it at least so that I can find a solution, I realized that the water was only murky because it was full of air bubbles and that had never happened before at our kitchen sink so it was weird but it was just air bubbles and if I left the water to sit in, the, in a glass or a pan for a while then it would just clear up and the smell had just come from the drain and not from the water itself. I had all this distraction and all this struggle for nothing uh, because really nothing had happened and if I had taken like two more minutes the moment that the water came out um, and just left it in the pot for a minute I would have seen that it wasn't dirty it was just full of air. So um, that is one thing that I realized yesterday you know to just take a moment Take a deep breath, think about it some more. Don't immediately go into solution mode. Sometimes it's too early to go into solving mode. You know, this is something that I'm great at in a crisis. I will find your solution like immediately. But um, sometimes I don't even need to find a solution because there's not really a problem. So there was some unnecessary struggle. And then on top of all of that, there was no internet. Like absolutely no internet, no internet in the house, no internet on mobile data. It was just completely shut down for no reason whatsoever. So first of all, I wasn't too worried. First of all, I was like, okay, I'll just wait like 20 minutes, half an hour. It's probably going to solve itself. You know, don't panic. So after 20 minutes, half an hour, this still was absolutely no progress. So I started sending text messages to people because that seemed like the only communication that was open to me and uh, the phone line to my internet provider overall was obviously completely overloaded and wasn't working at all. So there was no, no point in trying to call them. And so I started um, sending text messages to people um, asking them if their internet worked, how big the problem was, you know, trying to figure out like how big that problem actually was. So it turns out the, you know, the lines for the text messages were quite overloaded as well, but at least I got a couple of messages back. And after about two hours, I think, of trying to find solutions and trying to reach my clients to let them know that I can't be on the call because there's no internet and, you know, all these different things. And basically not being very productive at all, I finally um, got a text from a friend of mine saying that she still had mobile data that was working. So I decided to just go over there to the house where she's staying at and um, 
just use her mobile data to at least let my clients know that I can't be there, I can't do the session, but I'm really sorry, and you know, those kind of things. So I got to the house and there was an amazing vibe at the house. Everyone was dancing, they were cooking, lots of different foods. It was absolutely beautiful. And I just like, um, you know, connected to the hotspot and then I just kind of typed out the messages while I was dancing with them. And then we were dancing and they invited me to stay for dinner. And um, my clients all wrote back to say it's okay. They understood it wasn't really a problem. And finally, I had a wonderful evening. Uh, which really helped me to relax and to uh, make me much, much more productive this morning. Um, and um, all because the internet went down. So turning a struggle into flow is also a great art to learn. So how do you take that struggle and instead of getting stuck in struggle, you somehow convert it into flow? So yeah, just wanted to share those stories with you because I thought they were super relevant and hope you're having a great day. Enjoy, have a nice weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.